What is up guys, TechRex here. So in this video, we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. This is actually a really, really cool brand new phone just came out. And I was thinking instead of doing the typical hammer test that I usually do with these phones, it's got a cool new design, really cool camera, uh, infinity display, good on the eyes, less strain. Guys, I thought let's go ahead and do another drop test. But best of all, guys, the same drop test that I did with the iPhone XS. So this is actually the crazy spiral staircase. And I want to show you the very bottom here again. So I'm going to try to aim it, hopefully get it at the very bottom. I'm going to put this phone inside a case and I'm going to hit record. So right now the phone is in 10 out of 10 condition. Just to quickly show you guys, here's the case. I'm putting the Note 10 inside. So it actually covers the front right here. There's a little plastic cover and then the back is also covered. So this is gonna be very interesting, guys, in the aspect that when I drop the iPhone in the OtterBox case, the phone literally split in two pieces. So what's gonna happen with the Galaxy Note 10, guys? This is the big question. Which phone is more durable, the iPhone or the Samsung? Let's get straight into this. Here goes nothing, guys, and uh, whenever you're ready, Guys, that's a different thing. Multiple bounces. I think that landed maybe on floor 10, 11. And there it is, guys. So it actually fell only about 15 floors down. So the plastic here, guys, actually did good, but the phone itself is damaged. So that's very strange, guys. I don't know how that actually happened because it's fully intact in the case but we're gonna pop the case out here the front looks good from what I'm seeing but there could be a shatter so we're gonna double check here let's actually pop it out as far as the case guys it already did well better than the iPhone because it didn't split into two different pieces but man that back took some serious damage look at that the camera is actually perfectly fine too the sides are good corners look okay so man i'm impressed guys i think this phone deserves another drop and let's do our best whenever you're ready whoa okay that added about seven more bounces than the last drop test but hey let's see how it did i think it definitely did uh go a little lower but that was crazy crazy loud We just located the phone again, guys. Second drop test. Let's take a look at the back. And uh, same crack, maybe a little bit more damage, but let's check out that front. Still nothing, and it was recording. What the heck, the front is perfectly fine. Guys, that's two drops. The case suffered minimal damage. The back is still cracked. Literally didn't look any different than from the first drop test. That is crazy. Finally, guys, we're gonna do our third and final drop test from the top 30 floors down, guys, and we're gonna see both times we had pretty bad luck. It kind of bounces around and falls about 15 floors down, but we're gonna try one last time here just for the fun of it and see what happens, guys. So once again, we're gonna hit record and we're gonna make sure everything is ready and whenever you're ready. And final drop test results, guys. Look at where it's sitting, barely, barely on that step. So that wraps it up, guys, the final drop test. Once again, front completely survived three different drops from 
different heights. They landed at completely different floors, one at 14, one at 9, one at 11. And uh, look at the back, guys. The back completely cracked. That's the weird thing, guys. The back is demolished. It literally looks like the battery and the back casing is starting to peel off and phone is going to be compromised very soon. But the front, you look at the front and it's almost like a brand new phone. So really crazy. But that's pretty much it for the drop test. It definitely did a better job than the iPhone XS. That's without a doubt. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.